Article 7, Paragraph 6 of the India-USA Treaty. Now, if you remember in the beginning of this presentation, I told you that, you know, business profits could be of two types. I mean, for the purpose of this convention, of course. One, something which is dealt with specifically in different articles, like fee for technical services, independent personal services, right? Even interest could be business income in many cases for banks and other organizations. And the second is the general provision for business profit, which is Article 7. Now, what this paragraph 6 does is it lays down that if there are certain items of profit which are dealt with in other articles, right, then those provision will not be impacted by the general provision of Article 7, where profits include items of income which are dealt with separately in other articles of the convention. Kindly note that the dealing has to be in other articles of the convention. If it is in the Income Tax Act, the domestic law provision of the source state, then this is not relevant. The item of income should be dealt with in some other paragraph of the convention. If they are not dealt with there, then if it is a business profit, it will come back to Article 7. Then the provision of those articles shall not be affected by the provisions of this article. But one thing you note here is that, uh, you know, and I gave this example earlier also, but at the cost of repetition, suppose there's a person who gets fee for technical services, right? Now, fee for technical services clause in many treaties says that if the recipient has a PE in India, okay, and the FTS is effectively connected to that PE, then in that case, the provision of Article 7 would apply. What this particular paragraph in that case would mean is that since that provision itself tells you to come back to Article 7, we will respect that and therefore for FTS effectively connected to the PE, the taxation should be as per Article 7, provided the relevant FTS clause contains that assertion. 